Thank you. I want also to continue about the Jesus that we know. And before we talk the heresy about Jesus, how people give heresy about Jesus, shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father and our God, we thank you. As we continue to understand who Jesus is, we give you praise and honor. Help us to understand who this Jesus is. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. We talk about the heresy. And when we talk all around, when people are talking the Jesus that we know, they talk how they know Jesus. But from the very beginning, the church faced trouble from those who taught false doctrines about Jesus. Even today, there are those who continue to be led astray by false teaching about Jesus. This false teaching can be divided into three main ideas. The first false idea is that Jesus was just a man, not God at all. That's the first idea. Those who believe this agree that Jesus was a, a, a great moral teacher and that God blessing him. God blessed him but they deny that Jesus was God. The second one, false idea, is that the opposite, opposite, namely that Jesus was God, but not man. Some say that Jesus was only a spirit, that he did not have a body like others men. Some say that Jesus' spirit was not a man's spirit, but was God's own spirit in a human body. But this is also untrue because Jesus was a complete man with a human body and a human spirit. Hebrew chapter 2 verse 17 and 18. The third false idea is that Jesus was a God but less than God the Father. Those who believe this say that the body that the body is impure and sinful and that the true God would never appear in a human body. Therefore, they say that Jesus is only a lesser God sent from the Father, but not actually God himself. These people, not really Christians, point, uh, pointing to first where Jesus said that the Father was greater than himself. John chapter 14, verse 28. But Jesus had referred to the Father being greater than himself, only as it related to his role as incarnated Son. Elsewhere, Jesus said, I am the Father's, I am the Father's, are one. John chapter 10, verse 30. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. John 14, verse 9. John said clearly that Jesus was with God from the beginning and that he was God. John 1, John chapter 1, verse 1. And therefore, Jesus is both fully God and fully man as we so above. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. God and Father, help us to understand the three points about Jesus. So that we may not have any confusion in our life as we continue to understand who Jesus was. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Amen. How many minutes?